a Western philosopher, Sweat Marden, was asked about the transformational moment or event in his life that changed his views and made him a philosopher. He said, I saw a picture and that completely changed my ideas. People questioned just seeing a picture. What picture was it? He said, I had gone to a painting exhibition and I came across this one painting which had a man with his face covered by hair and wings under his feet. The picture had a caption, I am time. Nobody can see me, but I keep flying. This is how time is. You are unable to see it, but it's constantly moving. And along with its movement, our life is getting shortened. That is why we need to utilize the time we have available very carefully. That was also the advice of Ravan to Lakshman. When in Lanka, Ram slayed Ravan, he was lying mortally wounded on the battleground. Ram told Lakshman, What's? He is a scholar. Ravan was a commentator on the Vedas. So Lakshman, go and take advice from him. It is said a person's last words are very important. Hear what he has to say as a result of his lifelong experience. Lakshman went and stood by the head of Ravan. Ravan said, Ram, tere bhai ko tamiz nahi hai. Your brother doesn't know how to behave. He wishes to receive knowledge from me and he's standing by my head. Lakshman felt embarrassed and stood by Ravan's feet. That's when Raman said, My child, remember two things. The first one, if ever you are inspired to do something good, go ahead and do it right away. Do not delay. Later on, the chance may slip out of your hands. And if ever the desire arises to do something bad, terrible, nasty, Postpone it. I'll do it later. Let 24 hours go by. It's possible in the meantime, your views may change. You may be prevented from doing that sin. Ravan said, Beta, learn from me. I thought of building a stairway to heaven, but postponed it. And I thought of kidnapping Jagat Janani mother Sita I went ahead and did it right away. That is why we must realize that the opportunity presented by the human form is tremendous. Hence, in auspicious work, we must not delay. The problem is we people keep on postponing. We should take a leaf out of the book of King Dashrat. He had such opulence. His name was Dashrat because his Rath chariot would go in 10 directions. He was also an Atirathi. In Indian history, charioteers who could fight a thousand warriors were called Maharathis and those who could fight a thousand Maharathis were called Atirathis. They have been just a handful of Atirathis in history and Dashrat was one of them. Beyond that, he had the privilege that in his human form, whenever he wanted, he could go to Swarg, the celestial abodes and sit on half the throne of Indra. And Ram, Poon Brahma, became his child. 
such a great privilege that Dashrath, once while combing his hair, he found a few white hair over his ear. Shravana Samipa Bhai Sit Kesa Manahu Jaratha Panu Asa Upadesa. He started thinking, my, my, this body is made of mud and the mud has started deteriorating. I must now leave all this opulence and move in the direction of Atma Kalyan. Dripa Yuvaraja Rama Kena Dehu Jeevan Janam Labha Kena Lehu Let me now hand over the kingdom to Ram and go and do my sadhana. That was his wisdom. Just seeing a few white hair, he became detached. God gives us so many indications that life is temporary. Narayan Hari Bhajan Me Tu Jani Der Lagaya Kya Jane Is Der Me Shwasa Rahe Ki Jaya Take a look at children. All the year long they are careless. But as the exam starts approaching, they start exerting more and more and more. And the day before their exam, their catching power is the most. Why is that so? Because the intellect has realized the value of the time. I have just a few more hours to prepare. Similarly, the way to live is not karlenge, but to realize that each day we have is important. That was the lesson that Yudhishthir learnt. A Brahman came to him when he was the king of Hastinapur. And he said, Maharaj, I need to get my daughter married. Can you please give me Daan? Yudhishthir said, definitely. Come tomorrow and you shall receive the charity. Bhimsen heard that. He went and told the Prime Minister that let's have a celebration tomorrow. The Prime Minister instructed the General. The General instructed his soldiers. The preparations were made. And Yudhishthir saw that everybody in Hastinapur is celebrating. He asked the soldiers, what are you celebrating about? The soldiers said, ask our commander-in-chief. He has told us to. Yudhishthir went to the commander-in-chief. What is this festival about? He said, the prime minister's instruction. Yudhishthir went to the prime minister. What's going on? The prime minister said, your brother Bhimsen asked me to have this celebration. Now Yudhishthir went to Bhimsen. Tell me, why is everybody so happy? Bhimsen said, Bhai Sahab, you have achieved immortality. You have become our. That is why we are making merry. Yudhishthir said, I have become our. What are you talking about? Bhimsen said, Bhai Sahab, the Brahman came to you yesterday asking for charity. And you said, Mil jayega tomorrow. That means you have guarantee you will be alive tomorrow. Hence, you have postponed it. Yudhishthir thought about it. My brother's body is big, but his intellect is very refined. Call the Brahman, we'll give it to him today. This ties up with Ravan's advice. When you wish to do good work, don't postpone. If evil thoughts arise, delay it. Remember these two pieces of advice.
Daily Sadhana is a unique coaching platform envisioned by Swami Mukundanand for people of all backgrounds to make systematic spiritual progress at your own pace and in the comfort of your own home. In Daily Sadhana, Swami Mukundanand will be your personal spiritual coach and will help you learn and practice spirituality every day in a structured and engaging manner. If we could transform ourselves just 1% every day, after a few months, we would have changed ourselves 100%. Daily Sadhana offers beautifully designed online courses where the timeless Vedic philosophy is systematically organized into daily lessons. Each daily lesson contains an exclusive video lecture, review slides to revise the key takeaways, special meditation sessions, and quizzes and exercises. Visit mydailysadhana.org to learn more and start your spiritual practice today.